Hi, this is David Abonic Turtle with a quick look at basis risk. And this example is motivated by a good question that I had on the forum asking me to reconcile basis risk with the minimum variance hedge. I'll show how they're very closely connected. First, what is the basis? It's the difference between the spot and the futures price. Notice that requires two positions ownership in the underlying spot and then hedge with the futures contract, hedge with the short futures contract. If the basis is the difference between the spot and the futures contract or futures price, then basis risk is the variance of that difference. So the formula is right here in light green. Sigma squared connotes variance. We have the variance of the difference between long the spot and the hedge, which is short, some fraction of the futures. So the only adjustment here is I have that small h, which introduces the hedge ratio to suggest that we may not hedge one for one. We probably will not hedge one for one. For example, if h is one, then we, you could think of this as long one ounce of spot gold hedged by short one futures ounce of gold. Or if it's a contract, one contract, 100 ounces, hedged by a short in one futures contract of 100 ounces, as long as we're consistent. Then the idea is the hedge ratio, we may be hedging with some fraction of or multiple of a futures contract or just a unit of the futures. And so if the formula is given here in light green, I just wanted to show that it simply implements a very traditional formula for the variance of the difference between two random variables. Sigma squared, the variance of the difference between random variable A and B is simply variance of A plus variance of B minus two times the covariance between the two. And so here, if you just substitute for A, the spot price, and for B, the hedged futures price, in other words, the futures price or the unit multiplied by whatever the hedge ratio is, it could be including one, then this formula becomes the formula here in light green. Variance of the spot plus variance of the futures but, but multiplied by the hedge ratio minus two times where instead the covariance has been replaced by its equivalent, the correlation, the product of the correlation the volatility of the spot, and the volatility of the hedged futures. So this gives us the formula for the variance of the basis, which is what we call the basis risk. So if I have a few assumptions here, and if it's easier, if it makes it less abstract, we can think about an ounce of gold, where maybe the volatility of the spot price is 20%. The volatility of the futures price, I'm going to assume, is a little more volatile at 30%, but they have a very high correlation at 0.9. Then, for any given hedge ratio, I've used this formula here to compute the basis risk, and you, I'll put this spreadsheet on the website if you'd like to access it. So, for example, down here at the bottom, under the hedge ratio of 1, meaning, for example, that would include we're long 100 ounces of spot gold, and we're hedging with one contract, in other words, also 100 ounces, of gold futures, one for one with a hedge ratio of one. So if we were doing that and we computed this, here would be our basis risk. So I've got the formula here, variance of the spot plus variance of the hedged futures or the futures contract or futures unit multiplied by the hedge ratio minus the final term here. So I get the basis risk for a hedge ratio of one. And graphically, it's plotted right here, and that point happens to be up here. You can see it at portfolio variance of 0 0.022. And again, by portfolio, I mean the combination of long, let's say the 100 ounces of spot gold, combined with the hedge, which is short, the one contract of 100 ounces of futures gold. So I'd be up here with a hedge ratio of 1. Now visually you can see that's not at all optimal for my portfolio variance. And then we can ask, what is the hedge ratio that will give us the lowest portfolio variance, which will be the local minimum on this plot here. 
So, but first, you can see we have already can compute the basis risk or variance of the basis given any hedge ratio. Given right here, any hedge ratio I'm showing from 0.3 to 1 and the corresponding variance of the basis. So that was the first concept, the basis risk. And now we can ask, well, what is the hedge ratio that gives me the minimum variance. That's what we call that minimum variance hedge. Well, we can use calculus for that because this gives us the formula of for basis risk or variance of the basis. And then we can ask ourselves, can we solve for the H that minimizes this, this quantity here? I'm going to call that portfolio variance. Yes, we can. We just need to take the first derivative with respect to H, the hedge ratio. So the first derivative with respect to H, the hedge ratio, is right here because my first term drops out. It's got no H in it. It may as well be a constant. It's going to drop right out on the first derivative. Here, my variance of the product HF means that my H comes out as a square, H squared times the variance of F, minus... And you can see all of this, the H here under the volatility comes out on its own just as an H. And then we really have H times everything else. This may as well be minus 2 times H times some constant A, such that the first root of this term with respect to H is just the minus 2A or everything right here. So hopefully you can see how I, by taking these, the first derivative of this, three terms with respect to H, I simplify to this. And that gives me the first derivative, and then I just want the local minimum, that lowest value there graphically. And so that is going to occur where this formula is equal to zero. And so now my condition is zero equals my first derivative if my H is the minimum variance hedge. Notice I went from H to H, uh, H asterisk to signify that I'm now moving from any any particular hedge ratio to the minimum variance hedge ratio under this first derivative. So now zero equals that. I take this term over here or really add this term to both sides. And now two times my minimum variance hedge ratio times the variance of my futures contract equals two times the covariance between uh, spot and futures and then solving for my minimum variance hedge ratio I get I divide out get this the twos cancel as do one of the futures volatility leaving me with the formula for my minimum variance hedge ratio I hope that's familiar the correlation times what we could call the relative volatility volatility the spot divided by volatility of the futures such that if I plug my assumptions in right here, you see how I've got correlation times volatility of the spot divided by volatility of the futures. Notice my minimum variance MV hedge ratio H asterisk equals 0.6. So per all of that, it's telling me that at a hedge ratio of 0.6, I'm going to be at a local minimum here. I confirm that going up here where my basis risk or the variance of my basis is as low as it can be, 0 0.008 confirming that. And so you can see that now hopefully I've connected those ideas. The basis risk here gives me the variance of the basis given some hedge ratio H, whereas the minimum variance hedge ratio is the hedge ratio that minimizes this basis risk. This is David Harper, The Vanek Turtle. Thanks for your time.